Welcome to part two of my delivery cart lesson. In this one, I'll show you how to make a my block for the gyro straight program and control your turns also using the gyro. I'm going to pick up right where I left off in lesson one. So the first thing I'm going to do is fix some issues I had with the program. First, I thought the steering motor C was swinging a little more than I wanted it to, so the robot was jerking back and forth a little more than I wanted it to. So I think that the 10 degree swings are just a little more than they should be. So I'm going to reduce both of them by 5. So this one will be reduced to 5, and then this one to 355. Now the robot will swing a little less and its straight movement will look a little smoother. The next issue I had was with the one light up to show me the program was ready to go because I was also using program run one on the hub. And so I was confused as to whether it was program one on the hub or my program was running. So I need to change this to something else that'll let me see that the program is actually running like an arrow. One other thing I want to show you is if you look at the delivery cart, the hub is mounted sideways, not pointing forward. And so with the lights, you can actually tell the robot that the hub is mounted sideways by changing the orientation. So I'm going to actually put in a set orientation block and I'm going to click in here to show that the orientation is to the left. And now when I turn on the program, instead of pointing off to the left, which would be at the top of the hub, the arrow will point straight down the center of the cart and I'll show you what it looks like right now. So as you can see, because I've changed the orientation of the hub, the arrow points forward. So now I'm ready to actually go to the new program for part B, which is having the robot stop short of the barrier, but then back up and make a turn and head off at a roughly 90 degree angle from the barrier. So the first thing I want to do is make a my block for my move straight program. The my blocks are way down here on the red codes. And if you click on that, there's a little tab that says make a my block. And in here, you can type your block name. And I'm just going to type this one as gyro straight. And I'm going to hit save. And so what you get is a tab here that says define gyro straight. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gyro straight program out of the repeating command and just attach it to the define gyro straight command. And now, anytime I want to use the gyro straight, I can just go to the my blocks and I have this that I can put in here. And so now I can use this command over and over again anytime I want to go straight. So the robot will run to the wall, see it, and then stop moving. Now I need it to back up. So the first part of backing up is going to actually be turning the motor C so that it can actually turn. So I'm going to put in a command to turn C. And if I look at the robot and I look at motor C here, the farthest it can go to the right is about 31, 32 degrees. And so I'm just going to have C go shortest path to 30 to set up the turn. But now rather than having the robot go a certain distance, I want it to turn until it's at 90 degrees. But because it's actually going to be swinging to the left, it'll be negative 90 degrees. And so I'm going to use the gyro to tell the robot when to stop turning. So to do this, I need to go back to my control and get a new repeat until command. And in this case, because I'm going to use the gyro, I need to use a less than block because I'm going negative numbers and I'm going to go less than negative 85 because it's always going to overshoot that number just a little bit and stop. So by going less than 85, I'll hope it stops right around 90. And then I need to go to my sensors and put in a pitch angle button and change it to yaw. So now the robot will run until it gets to a yaw angle of negative 85 and then it'll stop moving. So now I just need to get the robot to back up. And if you look at the movement commands, 
there isn't really a backup option that's obvious. But if you come down to the lower left-hand corner, you see this little plus thing. And when you click on it, you have options to add more movement, more motors, and a lot of other things. And so I need to make sure I've added more movement so that I can come down to where there's more movement options. And in here, the one I'm going to use is this movement speed. And this is set for left wheel, right wheel, because I want to back up. I'm just going to set the movement speed to minus 30 and minus 30 so that both wheels are moving at a negative speed. And now the robot will back up, it'll turn, and then when it hits to negative 85, it'll stop. And hopefully that'll be about a 90 degree turn. And now I need to send my robot running off in a new direction. So the first thing I need to do is I need to realize that my gyro straight program is set to run on zero, but now my robot is facing roughly negative 90 degrees. So I need to reset the yaw angle to zero so that I have a new zero for the robot to follow. And now it's going to take off in the direction it's pointing. And I'm actually going to have it run for about five seconds. And so below the yaw angle, I have some timer options. And so I'm going to reset the timer to zero and I'm going to pull out a timer button that I'm going to need to use in a few seconds. Anytime I reset an angle or reset the timer, I like to use a weight to give the robot about a half a second, so 0.5, to make sure that everything has been reset before it goes. And now the robot's ready to run straight, with the exception of I also need to remember to come back to my motors and just to really help it run straight have C go straightest path to zero. So now the robot's ready to go straight again. And all I have to do to get the robot to go straight now is give me a new control block. That will be a repeat until. This time I'm going to use the timer. So I'm going to go back to my operators and I need a greater than because the robot's going to run for, I'm going to set it to run for five seconds. And then once it gets over five seconds by putting the timer button in here, then the robot will stop moving. And so now I just need to put the gyro straight command program back in here. And I can do that by going to the my block and inserting a gyro straight. And now the program is ready to go. So the last thing I want to show you how to do is to download the program on your hub. So I'm going to go down to this number one and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to select a new spot, number three. And I'm going to click the download button. And this will actually download the program onto my robot so I can take it to the table and run it. So let's see how that works. In this lesson, you have seen how to make an adjustment to your program, change the orientation of your hub screen, make a my block for programs you intend to use more than once, and control the turn using the gyro to make your turns more accurate.